In this episode of Fun Time with Pepper, astronaut Pepper learns about the dwarf planet Pluto. She talks with Pluto about interesting things of this faraway planet. Do you think Pluto would be a place where you would want to live? Fun Time with Pepper. Hello everybody, today we're going to the farthest part of our solar system. In the outer rim, we can find Pluto, a dwarf planet. Pluto was discovered by Clyde Tombaugh on February 19th, 1930, almost 100 years ago. Pluto was considered a planet for decades but it was reclassified to a dwarf planet. The main reason Pluto was not considered a planet was that it needed to clear its orbiting neighborhood of other objects. Hello, Pluto. Hello, Pepper. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Would you mind telling me something about yourself? Why, I would be happy to. Here's something that's interesting. I'm over 3.6 billion miles away from the sun, making it one of the coldest and darkest places in the solar system. Oh, and here's another really interesting thing. I have a heart-shaped glacier on my surface. It looks just like a heart. Ah, oh, you have a heart. The other planets must be jealous. Also, my thin atmosphere is made mostly out of nitrogen. It expands and contracts with my orbit. We have a nitrogen atmosphere on Earth, too. Hey, do you have any moons? I have five moons. Karen is the largest. And actually, we are in a locked position. We face each other as we dance through space. There's also four other moons. Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. Sounds like you're not alone way out here. Did you know that my days are actually six Earth days long? But wait, what's more interesting is it takes 248 Earth years to make one of my full orbits or one of my years. Ah, it's a long year. I wouldn't even be one year old. No birthday party, boo. The Kuiper Belt is a region of space in the outer rim beyond Neptune that's filled with many icy objects. Oh, interesting. As you look at my surface, you will see that the plains and the mountains are covered with an icy material. The material contains frozen nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. That's fun. The scientists on Earth think that I may have cryovolcanoes. Those are volcanoes that erupt an icy slush instead of molten lava. Can you imagine icy geysers spewing into space? Oh, those are really beautiful. I remember receiving my first visitor from Earth. NASA launched the New Horizons spacecraft in 2015. The first time any kind of spacecraft came up close to me. It's very cold on my surface, with temperatures dropping down to minus 378 degrees Fahrenheit. That sounds painful. Earth scientists speculate there might be an underground ocean beneath my surface. If so, there might be some tiny organisms living in there. That could be life from another planet. It's a mystery. I have an oval or elliptical shaped orbit. I'm one of the few objects in space circling the sun that have that. Hey, thank you, Pluto, for taking time to talk to me. You absolutely are welcome here anytime. And who knows, maybe someday other people from Earth may come by to visit me. What do you think? Would you like to visit Pluto? 